I love this country. I hate it. It's a marriage that's gone on for at least the 50 years of my riding life. He was a political candidate, a newspaperman, a movie director, and a social critic. You all know that I, that I stabbed my wife oh. years ago. Or you were playing on that. But your violence, your love of murder, your celebration of rage, of hate, this violence, this knocking people down, this carrying on, is a terrible thing. People who write books take as much punishment as prize fighters, and one of them has to be a champion. I'm running for mayor in the Democratic primary of June 1969. Americans didn't care about the event. They didn't know where it was. Almost no one could have found it on the map. His first Pulitzer was for nonfiction with the Armies of the Night in 1968. His second Pulitzer was for the Executioner's Song in 1979. Mr. Abbott, help me a great deal with the Executioner's Song. He's the most important writer of the second half of the 20th century. I am imprisoned with a perception which will settle for nothing less than making a revolution in the consciousness of our time. He was married six times and had nine children. But within that, he was also highly supportive, both literally and sort of psychically, and he was devoted. He was the tree, and we were the birds that flew between, you know, the branches. And we're a loyal bunch, and um, that had to come from somewhere. Norman was a hellraiser. I mean, he was really such a personality. What have you done? What have you done? When I saw this guy, and I knew he was a wonderful writer, and very troubled, a vulnerable little boy inside. I can't imagine what the 50s, 60s, and 70s would have been like without him. You're just a fraud, aren't you? I'm a fraud and you're a cocksucker. Are you really all truly idiots, or is it me? Yeah. When I met you, you loved to 